Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning. It is bright and sunny day after the storms have subsided finally. Not sure if they'll come back or not, so if the stream does randomly for some reason cut out, it's probably because I lost power. I'll try and get it up and running as soon as possible, but uh, we'll see. So far, I gotta say, first impressions of this game, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, I'm really loving that story. It's really good. I'm just, I love all the choreography, all of the cinema, just, just how it's put together. So, but yeah, I guess, uh, yesterday we finished episode, act, chapter two, episode two. Um, yeah, so, I don't know how, much, how long is left, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Oh, I gotta redo the berry thing. Okay. Ow! Ow, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Gonna drop that there real fast. Alright. Gotta defeat the birds! Swivel here. Take him out. Use the ammo. It goes away. No. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something, anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. Bye now. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Old Deer Diner. Good girl. Ah, oh, shit. I can't tell who the villain is here, like...
There we go, end of episode two. Alan Wake. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see a white again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Good girl. Episode three. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks? Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Interesting. I wonder if that story, like, partly true, partly false. I, I wonder how much of that's true. Dude's got a nasty limp, though. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. So that might be who All the woman the articles is. articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Oh. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Okay. So we saw the picture of Zane in the house, in the diving suit. That lady who's doing all this mind control bullshit, she must be taken and sh she must, that that's who, that, I forgot her name already. But well, Cynthia Mr. Weaver, that this woman Rose's with the trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. I mean, hey, good for him looking out. I see the coffee! Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. She's trippy. Hey! This is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? Drugged. Damn. It's 
coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. What did we start? You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. So I wonder if Zane is the light. Back to work, boy. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. So a thing for writers, huh? Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Rose, okay. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Damn, she's fucked up. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> okay, at least he's asleep. You're right. I deserve more money. Alright, where's the guy with the limp? Oh, My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Randolph calls the police. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. I don't know, we're gonna have to deal with the police. I have a feeling this FBI agent's gonna come out here and fuck shit up. Still waiting on that page to come true. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah, uh, I had a, uh, you know... Uh, argument with Danny. You know, Danny and, uh, then I got in trouble with the law. You know, and, um, I'm just, well. I heard something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Danny's my best friend, and, uh, they let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I 
was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I, I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? How can I reach you? Coffee! Coffee, coffee, coffee. There's like a hundred something of these things to collect. Found 25 of them. Hey, it's what, it's what's his face? Randolph, Randy, Randall. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slay. Why did you run? What are I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. Yeah, that was reckless. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Make it easy. Move it, move it. Come on, Wake. Keep it going. like stupid AI that just don't know what they're doing. Oh, damn. A flare? Damn, they were really after my ass. Keep going. Keep running and wake. My man Wake is running it. God, come on, guys. We need to head him off. Got another page. The Dark Presence sleeps. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh, now I'm gonna have to dodge the darkness. Run, 
Runwick, run! Oh, no safe haven for me. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a rider, not a monster. Nightingale thinks I have the powers of the supernatural at my disposal. <laughs> FBI. Hold it right there. I'm good. Oh, but there is. The crows are going after the helicopter. Let's safe haven up here. Give me a second. It's a gas station. station in the distance. Oh. I hit escape like it's gonna do anything. Alright, let's get running. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Shadows climbing. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. <laughs> Speaking of lights on, no Neon, a game searchlight. about lights. Oh, coffee. Coffee, coffee. Coffee. Generator going. Well, good thing I don't need to trust it, I just have to collect it. Random spooky dark gate cleared. Damn, based on how good this game is, I'm really excited for the second one. Finish this one, and then I get to reward myself by going to the second one. Yep. 
These damn shadows, they don't learn their lesson. Just randomly dispelling. It took me a moment to They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. Team one, this is Sheriff Breaker. Report. Over. Team two, come in. I need a report. Over. Come on, guys. Come on. Uh, they all dead, ma'am. Peace out! I don't want none! Alright, alright. I guess I don't have a choice. Gotta use the bangs. Run for the light, wake! Run! And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milk Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milk? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there. Lots of sirens, a uh, helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door, and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, uh, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. I wonder what that means the sheriff will tell him. Ooh, Paige. <laughs> get rid of you so I guess I have to use the flash even though I'd prefer not to Rose touched by the dark presence touched by the dark presence Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons the old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true she would be Alan Wake's muse she was smiling so hard it hurt her face she crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee deep down inside she was screaming in terror. Damn. Run! Don't mind me, just dispelling the darkness with one flush bang at a time. There's some lights here. Bad at this whole dodge mechanic thing that they have. Run, Alan.
not in my neighborhood. I hope hey, Ming could lend me a car to get You're to the right coal mine. Why, hello, Lorna. What do you have for us? Dude was like, Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. I'm gonna see if I can talk to him. No, later. you just gave him my location. Come on, Damn in, Mr. it. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. 